Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sakal Prajapati and in this video I will be talking about what is broadcast variable in Spark and we will be seeing the full demo of broadcast variable, how we can use it and uh, with the help of some example. Cool. So before that, I would like to introduce my website geekcoders.co.in. Here you can find out a couple of uh, blogs, okay, in, in database, interview questions and so on. So, you know, if you are learning database, then you can click on this database uh, category option or we can say a page then you can find out a couple of uh, couple of blogs present over here let's say you know how to find out latest folder in ADLS, ADLS in database then I have uh, written a blog on how we can create a mount point then how we can read a excel file in database and so on here we have couple of you know blogs we have it and moreover to this if I click on this uh, interview questions option then you can see like you know we have multiple multiple uh, interview projects we have it I mean and end to end projects we have it okay and apart from this you can subscribe to my newsletter so that you will get a notification whenever I I publish a blog cool so chalo, let's get started for today's video so the definition I have written is that in PySpark data frame broadcast variables are read only shared variables okay that are cached and available on all the nodes in a cluster in order to access or use by the task okay so whenever we create a broadcast variable it will go go and stored it will go and stored in the in the nodes okay in the nodes instead of sending this data along with every task PySpark distribute PySpark distributes broadcast variable to the worker using efficient broadcast algorithm to reduce communication cost okay note that broadcast variables are not sent to executor with sc dot broadcast variable call instead they will be sent to executor when they are first used okay so chalo, let's let's see how we can you know achieve this broadcast variable variable concept in uh, PySpark using databricks so for that what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna create one sample uh, sample data frame so let's say uh, I'm preparing a name or data set or data frame where first column is name and second column is the uh, country name so IN means India right IN is the short form of India likewise I'll put here Alex name and he is from USA then we have one more guy whose name is David and he is from Canada so the short form of Canada is CA cool and let me here write down a schema cool a schema also so first name first is his name which is equal in a string and second one is country name so I'll write here country this will be also in a string format and now just simply write is df is equal to spark dot create data data frame and here first parameter is data and second parameter is schema cool and just write here df dot show to print the uh, data frame see now you can see we have a uh, name and country column and this is the data now we will see how we can uh, create a broadcast variable so let's say I want to uh, you know I want to uh, 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 I so right now what I will do I will create one mapping mapping dictionary okay which will map this India to the full form I mean I N to the full form India like say USA uh, will be mapped with United States of America CA will map to Canada so for that I'll what I'll do I'll just write here country dictionary is equal to uh, IN is India right just I, I, I will write the full form of this and uh, USA is uh, United State of America likewise CA is Canada cool
and Canada is C capital A and D A. Now this is the just a dictionary, okay, which I need to be sent into the uh, you know into the uh, worker nodes. In order to create a, a broadcast variable, what I will do first, I'll create one uh, variable. So let's say broadcast country. Cool. And here I'll write here spark dot uh, sc dot not spark dot sc spark context. Cool. And here you pass the thing which you need to be sent. Just run this. Remote spark context object is not callable. Oh, sorry. So here I have to use a function broadcast. Broadcast. Cool. Okay. Now, if I run this broadcast underscore country, then you will see this object. I mean, it returns this object by spark dot broadcast broadcast at this. So it means this is the broadcast variable now, right? So if I want to extract any information from this broadcast variable, then how I can do? So I can I can easily uh, easily do it with the help of value function. Okay, so this is my so like I just call here value function, and here I'll pass here I'll pass uh, the key. Dictionary object is not available. Value only, right? Broadcast country is packed to total country dish right so if I just run this why it is not coming type dictionary object is not callable uh, okay sorry so I have to write write like this now you can see it returns India cool now what I want to do what I wanted to do is that I wanted to change this uh, the I mean here I, I wanted to change the name of the uh, name of the country to from the short form to the full form correct so for that what I will do I'm just gonna create one function let's say def uh, def def and uh, uh, board, let me give some name so I'm writing broadcast function okay and here I am passing a country name country name cool and I am saying that return this thing and instead of making is static let me make it dynamic cool now what I need to do I need to also uh, register this in a in in this spark in in this spark session right so for that what i'll have to do i'll just uh, create one more uh, uh, variable or we can say a function broadcast function f broadcast uh, country now let me give another name country is equal to country underscore f is equal to uh, udf and registering right so pass this value now since I am calling this UDF function, I need to call, I need to uh, import this also, right? So let me write pyspark.sql.functions import UDF. Just let me run this. Cool. Now, what I will do, I will just write here a DF output is equal to DF dot uh, with column okay with column uh, country cool country comma col uh, not col let me call this function cool let me call this function and here I will pass col is equal to col and country country column which I need to pass cool and in uh, here I have to call the uh, col function also and here 
just write df dot output df underscore output dot show see now you can see we have the data frame where the name is same but the country name got changed right in to i india usa to united states of america and ca to canada see i have created this uh, broadcast variable broadcast variable with the help of spark dot uh, spark contest like you can also make it with the help of sc cool if i just run this then it seems okay see now here the data is very less okay here here now the data is very less that's so and we use this example but in case the data is very large then you can use this advan uh, this uh, this feature this broadcast variable feature so that it will be very he helpful for you now the data is very less right so you do not need to you need to need to go via this method but you yeah, yeah i mean if you're going to also that is not a problem okay it is up to you if you want to if you want to choose this this thing but if if you know if the data set volume is very huge then i would say i would recommend to use this method okay to avoid or to reduce the processing time cool i hope you have understood this concept and if you are liking my series or playlist please subscribe to my channel share with your friends and you know uh, dm me if you have any doubt in this i will help you a lot and please subscribe to my newsletter also so that whenever you know i i post something you will get a notification thank you bye bye